Hello to all our new 10th graders coming in. Welcome to Utica High School. Well, we will be presenting for you today is um, some information about scheduling at Utica High. So please go through our slides. You'll be able to watch this on your own time too at another time um, so that you make sure you have all the information. It's very important to go through this and make sure that you understand and you do your schedule correctly. Things that you should have with you right now or when you're doing your schedule is your course selection guide, which is going to give you a list of all the classes that we have, a scheduling sheet, and your graduation requirement sheet, which all these forms can be found at our website. Here are the counselors we have at our school. We have Dr. Krolchek, who is beginning the alphabet A through F. We have Mrs. K Mrs. Bronski, who has the alphabet G through KA. We have Dr. Perry, who is KE through PI, and all the AVID students. And then myself, Mrs. Carabelli, who has PL through Z. What do you need for graduation requirement? This didn't show up very well. For English classes, you'll need to have four years of English. You'll need to have four years of math. You need to have one credit of a VPAA, and you will have for social studies three credits at the time that you graduate, three credits of science, a half a credit of PE, a half a credit of health, which only one counts as the M010, and four electives. And then you'll need two credits of a foreign language or a combination with your CTE classes which gives you the grand total of 22 credits for graduation. So if you pass every single class from your freshman year through your senior year, you will have above the 22 credits and you'll be just fine with the 24 credits. What is a visual arts or career um, tech education or what's a visual finding, sorry, what's a visual performing or applied arts class? And that is, a fine arts class or career class that you can take that will count towards that credit. So it could be a band, an art, a choir, um, theater, and then there's a bunch of other classes. How you know? Well, in your course selection guide, there was a V code there to help show you that that goes towards your visual fine from fine or performing art credit. English credit. You must take an English every single year for a total of four credits. So as a ninth grader, you took it in English nine. As a 10th grader, you can choose English 10 or an honors English class. Um, expectations of the honors English class are available from your counselor and they can tell or, and or tell you about it. And then also we have our EL program. So those of you who are in the EL program will talk to your teacher about what EL class you need to go into next. If you're in um, special services, you will talk to your IEP or your, excuse me, you will talk to your caseload teacher to help you decide what class you need to go into for English class. Social studies classes. Three credits are required for graduation. You are taking the world history right now and or the AP world history. Next year, you will take the US history or an AP US history. Your junior year, you will go into the government or AP government class, as well as economics or AP economics. And your senior year, you won't need to take a social studies class if you don't want to. For science, what you need are three credits for graduation. You are into physical science right now, so that will go towards your additional science class. Um, and then next year, you will sign up for biology. Your junior year will be taking chemistry or physics or an honors chemistry class. Math classes. Four years are required for you to go through graduation. What is required of the four out of the four classes are geometry, algebra one and algebra two. You must take a math or math related course in your senior year as well. 
How do you know if it's a math class? It will be underneath the M codes. Mrs. Bronski, would you like to continue, please? Certainly. I'm Mrs. Bronski. Um, as Mrs. Carabelli mentioned, I take care of students with last names G through KA. So I'm going to be continuing here with uh, PE and health requirements. So you are required to take one semester of a gym course and one semester of a health course, um, which equals one full year. Uh, any gym class will work um, for the gym credit. But the health credit, only one specific course counts toward that health credit, and it has the code M010. It can't be a health class that you took in seventh or eighth grade. It's only offered at the high school. So make sure you include that on your schedule if you haven't yet. Um, we do recommend getting them on your schedule early so that you can get them those credit, that credit taken care of and out of the way. You can flex for a PE credit, but not a health credit. Um, in order to flex out of your PE, you could have two seasons of a sport, a school sanctioned sport or um, marching band. If you choose to flex out of your PE credit, you will need forms to be signed by your coach or band director, and those will be need to be turned into the counseling office. Um, once again, health cannot be flexed out of. In terms of foreign language, you are required to take two full years of foreign language. They need to be the same foreign language. So you cannot take one year of Spanish and one year of French. You will need to take two years of the same language. Um, you can flex out of the second year of foreign language with an extra VPAA course. Um, in order to do that, you must fill out the flex forms and get the proper signatures and turn them into the counseling office as well. However, it is important to note that most competitive four-year universities and colleges would like you to have two years of foreign language. So please consider that when you're determining whether to flex out of that second year. If you have failed any courses, uh, you must try to make them up through credit reco recovery or summer school. Sometimes we can fit them into your schedule later on in high school. However, some of the classes that you took in ninth grade and may not have passed are not offered at the high school. For example, English 9, if you did not pass either semester one or semester two of English 9, we do not offer that at Utica High School. Therefore, that must be made up during credit recovery or during summer school. In terms of your alternate classes, which you'll need to complete when you fill out your schedule, um, the alternate classes must be filled in. You cannot be guaranteed any courses that you have asked for, and therefore we may need to go to your alternate in order to complete your schedule. Um, if you don't put alternates down on your schedule, then we as your counselors will be forced to select classes for you that you may not like. So when you're choosing your alternates, keep in mind that you should do alternates that you do not already have on your schedule um, and that you need to have two one semester classes to equal a full year. So each line in the alternates represents a full year. You must choose classes that complete that. So it, as it shows right here, if you had foods, that's only one semester and then team sports, which is one semester, and that equals one full credit, which would complete one line of alternates on your schedule. Um, for any AP classes, uh, accelerated and honors courses, keep in mind that um, you need to talk to your teachers and to your parents in order to figure out if that's the best placement for you. Um, once you make these selections, um, it's important to note that if you select multiple AP classes or multiple honors in AP classes, that some of them may conflict in the schedule and you might not be able to fit them all into your schedule. Um, it's important that you pick alternates that you are interested in taking in case some of these AP courses conflict. Um, once you have selected AP courses, we will not be able to change that schedule in the fall. Uh, part of this process with taking AP classes involves filling out the AP form and uh, submitting it to the counseling office at Utica. Once you have signed this AP form, you are committing to taking those classes for the full year next year. 
So we will not be able to change your classes in the fall. So please, you know, take this into consideration. Like I said, talk to your parents, talk to your counselors, talk to your teachers to make sure that these AP accelerated and honors courses are the right placement for you. Um, an elective, everybody has room in their schedules for some electives. Um, as sophomores, you will have two spots for electives. Um, an elective is any classes you can take after you have fulfilled a graduation requirement. So, um, for example, foods and nutrition is an elective. Algebra is not an elective. That is a core class that is a graduation requirement. Um, foreign language is one of those classes that um, it is a graduation requirement. So most students will select to take that their, um, their sophomore year. But if you already fulfilled your two years of foreign language and you want to take a third year, then that would count as an elective. Ms. Carabelli, do you want to continue? Sure. This is the UCS graduation requirement form that I was referring to in the beginning. And it just breaks it down for you what is needed for graduation. And each year you will go through and you can fill this out to make sure you have the credits you need. So your first year, you're right now, you most of you completed English 9 and passed it. So you put a check mark in there and you're into semester, second semester of your English 9. So that's why you put an end for right now. Um, and then your world history, you've completed the first semester, so you're in it right now. And your additional science, you're in physical science, and then you have the additional, or excuse me, you have the second semester, and so you're in it right now. Some of you, um, I'm sorry, um, in geometry is the next one, so you're in that class right now, and you are, um, so you completed the first semester. So you go through this sheet and look at your schedule to see what you've completed already that you have a grade for. If for some reason you didn't pass a class, I would circle the area so that you make sure you know you have to make that up in either summer school for credit recovery or on your schedule in the future. But this will help you determine what classes you need to take for the following year. Here's a sample schedule. So you will have, you can choose your English class, what you want. You put down your history class that you want. You put down the science class that you want and the math class. And then this is where the electives come in. And Mrs. Bronski was talking about the Spanish. So this student didn't take Spanish yet. So they're going to take Spanish one. And they're going to take their health and their and their gym credit class that they have to do. But these are considered the electives. Then down here are the alternates. Again, none of these alternates are the same classes they have at the top. You have to have different classes at the bottom than what is at the top here. Because if you don't get them here, obviously you can't get them down here. Um, or we will be filling in a schedule for you. We don't enjoy that, so please don't make us do that. Um, so what is your responsibility now? You need to input your completed schedule um, or we'll have to make a schedule up for you. And we won't be consulting you when it comes to that. All schedules need to be input by you in the computer by March 16th. Excuse me, that should be April 16th, not March 16th. But you can do it earlier if you get your schedule done sooner. Completed is your schedule is complete if you need to make sure you take a picture of your schedule so you know what you put into the computer. You've used the directions to put your schedule into the computer. It is input into the computer. Here's a sample of what the computer will look like when it comes to inputting your schedule. You're going to have the little boxes there. You're going to click on the pencil to add your class to the to what you want to do. So you click on the pencil and then you will get a choice of, of the classes. You will use a schedule sheet that you filled out to put in the classes that you want for each of the different areas. It'll say at the bottom whether you have enough credits or not. So we are here to help you if you have questions or concerns. You have email that you can email us. Um, I don't know if you can. A lot of you will be able to do us through Teams, but sometimes I've heard other students aren't able to, but you can contact us through our emails and that's at our website. Also, we'd recommend that you talk to your counselor at your junior high. He or she 
has the ability to answer the questions as well. And if they don't, they can contact us. Again, here's a counselor breakdown. Dr. Kolchak, A through F. Mrs. Bronski, G through KA. Dr. Perry, KE through, that's incorrect. Um, and Mrs. Carabelli, PL through Z. Here's our website to find the forms that you need for graduation as well, um, and also for scheduling. So you go into uticahigh.uticak12.org. And that concludes our presentation for today. If you have questions or concerns, again, please go to your counselor at your junior high, and they will then contact us if they're unable to answer the questions for you. Happy scheduling, and we look forward to seeing you in the fall. Thank you. Bye.